Welcome to another video from Network Engineer Academy. Now, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through on how can you go through a process in six weeks and getting your CCNA, your Cisco CCNA routing and switching certification. So you better take a lot of notes. And by the way, I know what you're probably thinking. Okay, Jorge, tell me your BS and how can I go through a process and getting my CCNA in six weeks? Because let me tell you something. Most people take months for them to get their CCNA. Now, let me tell you the truth. Most people in the IT community, they go on memorizing the questions and the exam. That's exactly what most people do. They have no idea about the topics. They just go on memorizing the questions. Let me tell you one thing. That's the reason why, yes, they have their CCNA, but they don't have a job in the IT, even though they have their CCNA. And that's a few others, they yes, they were able to get a job, but a low paying job in the IET, even though they have their CCNA. So let me walk you through this process. So take note, because what I'm gonna walk you through in this video will completely change the way that you will approach the next time that you wanna get certified. And probably right now, if you are going through the process, I'm getting your CCNA. And yes, you can make this happen in six weeks. And yes, that's a few other things that I need you to go through in order for you to make this happen. Now, let's start, let's go through this process, okay? And let me obviously give you three things for you to think about, for you to process, and for you to analyze. And what you need to do first before you decide I'm going through this process for you to get your CCNA or maybe other related IT certification in six weeks. Again, take note. First thing, rule number one, is obviously time. Most people don't have the time, you know, and really going through this process and being a badass in the IT and obviously in their personal life. They have other priorities, you know? So the time has to be about 15 to 20 hours each week for the next six weeks. I'm gonna tell you one more time, 15 to 20 hours each week. Now you're probably thinking, Jorge, that's no way that I can do that. I have many things going on in my life. You know, I have other, other priorities. Well, let me tell you one thing. You know, I have a full-time job. I'm doing Network Engineer Academy. I'm doing these videos. And I still have that time to go through and educate, educating myself, you know, and getting certified, and obviously putting more content out there in the IT community. And by the way, you know, I have a big family too. But you see, the way that I prioritize my time makes a huge difference, and it's all about priorities. So if you really wanna go through this process and accelerating your IT career and making things happen, you need to put the time. So 15 to 20 hours. That's rule number one. Rule number two, focus. You see, it's not based on, oh, I'm gonna focus, you know, the next hour, the next two hours and study. And that's it, you know, like, I'm gonna go, like, no, it's all about actions, you know? And if you will know this, if you know the process and how the mind works and how the mind learns. And it's all about the actions where your attention is, goes, that's exactly what you're telling your mind, oh, this is a priority for me. Focus on this, process this. And obviously, a lot of the things that you're doing right now, they're not helping you for you to become a badass in your IT career, for you to get results, not only in your IT career, but in your personal life. So again, focus. When I go through this process, even my girlfriend knows. 
The next six weeks, it's all about me going through this process. So what that means, yes, I'm gonna study, and then probably from point A to point B, and that can be from home to work, I'm gonna process everything that I learned that morning. I'm gonna process, think, and how to apply what I learned, you know, the day before. You know, before I go to bed, I'm gonna do that same thing. You see, it's all about actions. It's all about where you put your attention and focus on. Not only on the one or two hours that you're putting each day. I'm telling you, it's a process you have to go through and condition your mind on doing. So that's number two. Rule number three, before going through this process. And that's the way that you're gonna approach and learning the technical topics. Most people, that was me at one point, I didn't know that it's a better way on how to learn technical topics. You know, no one in school teaches us about the process of learning and how to accelerate the process of learning. And for me, that make a huge difference in my life, in my IT career. Now, if you have no idea about that, that's something that you have to do first because more likely the way that you are going through and learning technical topics, it's not helping you. And that's the reason why it's taking you months. I'm telling you, you know, everything that I'm walking you through, that I'm basically telling you, it's based on my personal experience. And many students from that coaching program will tell you, you know, how to completely change the way they're approaching learning technical topics. You know, learning how your mind, how your brain works and learning something new. Now, that's exactly what you need to have in mind before going through this process. Now that you are more aware of that, do something about it. Now, let's go through week number one. Week number one. So going back on the rules, right? So okay, I'm gonna go through this process and that's gonna take me like about 15 to 20 hours. So I'm gonna have to make the time, you know, I'm gonna prioritize my week. Probably I'm gonna have to get up an hour early. Maybe I'm gonna have to go to sleep, you know, maybe an hour, two hours later. But I'm gonna make this happen because yes, I wanna completely change my life, my IT career. You know, my IT career completely changed my life. Why? Because I know what to do when I, and based on what I'm learning, the experience that I've been getting. You know, I'm not, I'm not just like everyone else in the IT community, and that's exactly what Network Engineer Academy is all about. You know, for you to go through the process of being the best. I mean, like, the best. You know, for you to have a baddest life, income, and a lot more other things. You know, because I teach you many high-paid skills that will allow you for you to do that, for you to get to that level. Anyways, so week number one. So I schedule my week, right, based on time. Now, the first thing that you need to do is for you to not go through a book. That's the worst thing that you can do. Why? Because probably you are new. Or probably you don't have that much, uh, a lot of knowledge or experience in the IT. Yeah, you probably have an idea on how one computer communicates with another computer. Yes, you probably have an idea on an IP address about probably the wireless router that you have at home. You know, that's, that's good, you know, that's an idea, but you're gonna go through so many other topics that they're completely new to you. So this is exactly what you need to do, right? You need to select one of vendor, one of the, uh, one training course from one of the vendors out there, you know? And I'm gonna name a few because I will tell you, I learned a lot from them. But you see, that's not what's gonna gain me the results. That's many other things that basically allow me to get results, not just me going through them. They help me based on a technical point of view and based on how I approach and learning those topics because some of them are so fucking boring, right? But that's a few vendors out there. I'm telling you, I still, at this point, learn from some of them, okay? Now, that's up to you for you to decide and be like, okay, I can go through CVT Nugget. Jeremy, great guy, teaches the topics really well. Again, the way that you, not him, the way that you're gonna approach the process and learning what he's teaching you, that's exactly what makes the difference. Really great guy, right? I learned a lot from him. Now that's one of them, CVT Nuggets. Another one, you know, IT Pro TV. That's another vendor. You know, another one, as you may know, Plural Sight. Another one, Live Lessons. And yes, that's some others 
and Udemy. You can go through anyone. It's up to you for you to choose which one. Or you can go through us, through me, and I can teach you the topics really well as well from a different, completely different point of view. Now, that's up to you, and you're going through whoever you choose that week. That week, okay? So let's say you choose X, and that training for you to go through the CCNA, it's about 17 hours. Well, you better go through it week number one. When? And week number one. You better go through all of it. And you're probably thinking, Jorge, I can probably do that. But let me tell you, that's no way that I'm going to learn all of the topics. That's no way that I'm going to be a badass. That's no way that I'm going to get it. I know. But what's going to happen? You will be aware of many of the topics. So now you know more about the topics. And yes, you're not going to be able to be like, shit, I'm going to remember everything. But you will be more aware. And that's exactly what it's all about. You do not do any labs. If you have time, that's fine. But what's your main priority for you to go through the entire video training course? Now, if you have probably some time left on week number one, you go back and go through some of the videos that you have more questions about, that you're still completely confused. You go and do that. But that's exactly what you need to do right now, right? And week number one, make sure you go through that video training course. And if you have more time, you go back and I go through everything, but go through some of the videos that you have more questions about, because that's exactly what I do, by the way. And I'm going to remind you, the way that you approach the learning, that's exactly what makes a difference. Now, on week number two, what happens in, in week number two? Guess what? You're going to go on learning from another vendor. So let's say that you got CVT nuggets on week number one. Well, on week number two, guess what? You probably go through me, right? But my training, it's so... I mean, it really takes like a lot of hours. So let's mention, you know, some other vendor. You know, let's say IT Pro TV or let's say Plural Side. It's really up to you. Now, I don't have nothing against none of them. So you choose, let's say, Plural Side. Week number two, you better go through the entire video training course on week number two. And if it takes 20 hours, well, you're going to have to take the time for you to go through that 20 hours. And guess what? Because now you are approaching the topics from another point of view, from another trainer, your mind will be able to start connecting that information. And because you now are aware, based on everything that you went through on week number one, your mind is going to be able to put this in a way that's going to make a lot more sense to you. But you're not going to be a badass right away, right? And week number two, it's not like, oh, so on week number two, now I know everything. No, but you will know more about it. Again, the way that you go and learning the topics. And that's really not up to them, but up to you. The way that you're gonna process it, the way that you're gonna think, and the way that you're gonna basically say like, okay, how can this apply to me based on the process that I'm going through? And me getting the job, and me getting the promotion, and me getting certified, and me getting, you know, passing the test. You know, that's a few things that you have to think to, that you have to think before going through this process. And that's exactly what Network Engineer Academy teach you. You know, doing it the right way. Now, that's week number two. Now, at this point, you're like, okay, now I know more about bilance. You know, now I know more about spanning tree protocol. Now I know about, you know, the difference between, you know, uh, dynamic uh, routing protocols, you know, like OSPF, EGRP, you know, uh, static routing. You know, I know about trunking. You know, I know about NAT, access control, like, not, wow, like, I get it. Like, I start getting it, even though I haven't done anything hands-on, right? Because I'm telling you, don't do that yet. Now, that's week number two, right? Now, let's go to week number three. And week number three, guess what? No books, okay? No books. That's the worst thing that you can do, and that's for another video, and why? So, what's going to happen? You go and find another vendor. Bam, yes, and you go through the same process. Again, I know some of the training courses out there, they're not that complete, and they probably can take you about 10, 12 hours. So guess what? Because you are creating the habit, you're going to take that time. Like, oh, shit, you know, I went through everything, and it's just Thursday. Well, you have Friday, you know, Saturday, and Sunday. You go back to some of the videos that you've been watching before. Nothing new. You go back to some of the videos that you've been watching before that probably you still have questions about. And if you have the time to do some labs, that's fine. 
But right now, let's focus on going through, and week number one, an entire video training course. And week number two, and another entire video training course. And week number three, you do the same. At this point, no, you are not a badass. Yes, you're gonna still have many questions. But right now, going back, and because you've been so focused, you will be able to know more, like a lot more than what you used to on week number one. And that's exactly what matters the most. And that's exactly the way that you need to approach it. Why? Because on week number four, now everything changed. And this is exactly what you need to do. If you have the book, that's fine because you already have the book. Now you are not, okay? You are not going through that entire book. You're gonna only go through some of the topics that you still have questions about. You know, I know what's a VLAN and trunking, and I know both, you know, but I, like, I still don't see it. Like, I mean, I see this guy and that guy doing this, doing that, and I get it, but I, I don't get it, but I get it. Well, I don't, well, let me go through this chapter. And you go through VLANs. You know, I still have questions about, you know, like the big difference between OSPF and EAGRP. Okay, you know this, okay, well, let me go through this chapter. You see, you're not gonna go through the entire book and it's gonna be so much easier for you now because your mind knows something about it. So everything that you are going through, your mind will be able to put it and connect it in a way that's gonna make a lot more sense to you instead of you kinda going through and be like, I don't know what the hell this is, right? So that's exactly, this is huge. I'm telling you, this is huge, okay? Now, because in that week one, week two, and week three, you are putting about 20 hours, guess what? You will have the same 20 hours on week number four, and you better go through that process. And once you go through some of the chapters and that book, the other thing that I'm gonna ask you to do is for you to do research. Now, the way that you do research makes a huge difference, and that's obviously something that I teach really well. I'm telling you, it's all about the way that you process information. And let me give you like a scenario, right? So let's say you still have questions about, you know, port security. You're not gonna go on Google because you're gonna do some research because I told you to do some research on week number four and be like, okay, what port security? Because that's exactly what everyone does. That's not research. That's not research. That you, you are basically looking for a definition. That's not gonna help you, by the way. That's not gonna help you. You will find, you know, and the research problems. You're gonna find problems on port security. Oh, you know, Jorge, I have questions about IP version six. Man, this is so new to me, like so complicated, you know, completely different than IP version four. You know, so I still have questions. Okay, do some research on wiki number four. And the research has to be based on problems and scenarios about IP version six because you are going through that topic that it's not new to you, you know something about it. So once you go and learning something from a completely different point of view, now on this point, and maybe troubleshooting an issue that someone has about IP version six, and you will obviously see other people jumping in and say, hey, did you do this? Did you check that? Maybe it's this, maybe it's that. And now you are putting this information in a way that, okay, now it makes sense. Now I see the difference between IP version six and IP version four in a way not that makes sense only, but in a way that I can really see it. Like, okay, now I know how it works. You see big difference? So I'm gonna remind you, week number four, it's all about the way that you're gonna approach, you know, in a different way, the, uh, the topics. And that's going through the book. If you have it in a, just focus on doing research. How much time? The same time that you are putting on week number one, on week number two, and on week number three. This is not for you to, oh, I did some research, you know, I went through the book and it's, I'm done. Like, no, no, okay? Now, week number five, week number five. Week number five, obviously you put the same amount of time. And the only thing that you will be doing are, guess what, labs. That's it, you need to do laps. And that's the only thing that you need to focus on. Laps, 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 laps. Okay, now that I know B-Labs, now that I know how to do this, how to do that, maybe I did a few, you know, scenarios. 
you know, laps and week one and week two. But now this week it's all about laps. So let me go through day and set up, you know, a lab where I'm going to configure some of the switches, some of the routers, just the basic configuration. And I'm going to create like probably three networks. I'm going to start creating some, you know, port security. I'm going to start doing some VLAN, some trunking. I'm going to use some layer two switches, some, some layer three switches. And I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. Okay, that's good. Now, and day number two, probably I'm going to do, okay, what else? Well, I'm going to start now for these networks to communicate with each other. I'm going to start with some static routing and then you do this and you do that. And then, you know, I'm going to upgrade that to, you know, and go to a higher level and do dynamic routing, you know, and this network and this network, I'm going to use OSPF. Now from this network and this network, EIGRP, then I'm going to use some distribution. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Access control list. And they, you see, you're going through this process and you go by basically doing hands on labs, day in, day out, the same amount of time. And now really, this is not for you to go through all of the topics probably, but for you to go to the main ones. And you will know based on the process that you are going through that I'm telling you to go through, okay? Now, sometimes, depending on the exam, in this case, talking about the CCNA, yeah, sometimes it really takes about more than seven days. And that's fine. If you want to take 10 days, but that's more than enough, 10 days. Remember, you are putting about 20, maybe 25 hours each week. Make this a priority. Make this not only for, see the big picture, not only for you to, oh, I'm gonna have my CCNA, no. I'm gonna get the job, it's gonna pay me a lot more. And remember, it's not just about getting certified. It's not only just about getting certified. Because once you get, let's say, your CCNA, it's not like they're gonna give you a job. That's not reality. Yes, it's good for you to have your CCNA, but if you have no idea about the topics, obviously you will have no idea on how to communicate what you know, what you learn. Many ways on how to do that, and that's exactly what I teach you through Network Engineer Academy. Now, week number six, the last week. And this week, the only thing that you do is focus on questions. Okay, now the question is, what type of questions, Jorge? I don't care, really. I will be honest with you. I don't care what questions you go through. And by the way, this should take you 10 days. The last week, yes, I always do 10 days. Why? Because at that point, it's not for me to think of, oh, now that I went through all of this, I better know that, uh, how to answer the questions. I don't think that way. That's the wrong way for you to think of, and that's more likely what everyone does out there. Okay, now I'm ready. I went through the videos, I did some hands-on, I did this, I did that. So I'm gonna go through some questions, and yeah, uh, more likely I'm gonna know the answers. No. Every time that I approach and going through the questions, this is exactly what I do. I'm gonna learn more. So I'm gonna go through the questions, I'm gonna go through answers, I'm gonna go through explanations, and I'm gonna be able to see like, okay, how can I connect this with everything that I learned so far? And bam, you start learning more and more and more. And trust me, you will be ready to take the CCNA. And by the way, you know, um, I do remember when the last time that I got certified, and that was when I got and went through my MCSA on 0365, two exams. And I fell one of them once. What this means is that it's not a guarantee to pass the exam, but it helped me a lot to go through this process and learn in the right way. You know, and I don't give up. You know, you can talk to many successful, don't talk to broke people, successful people, and they will tell you, you know, and everything that they have based, let's focus, on IET certifications, they will tell you that some of them, they didn't pass the first try or the second try. But they keep on going until eventually they were able to pass and get certified. So that's all I have on this video. Now what I'm gonna ask you to do is for obviously sign up for the coaching program so that I can work directly with you or sign up for the membership site. And don't forget to like the video, comment on this video, share the video, and that's it. Again, go through this process, go through this video again because I really give you a lot of gold that it's gonna help you big time. Not only for you to get certified, but for you to accelerate 
your IT career, for you to accelerate the results that you want to get in your personal life and obviously in your IT career. So that's it. I will talk to you in the next video.